Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I've decided to do another daily vibe because I got interrupted in my last one, and I really don't like interruptions, and I, I almost didn't share it, but it was a message for somebody, so I decided to. So this one, we're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to use some different cards, and we're going to see what comes up. This is for the full moon eclipse. Hopefully this is another message for somebody else. I don't know. That one seemed pretty specific. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. You should be watching this on my channel. Um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, but this is intended for the full moon, okay? Uh, July 16th, 2019. This reading may or may not be for you. It's not sign specific, so it doesn't matter what sign you are. Let's see what we got. We're going to start right here. What do we have? What do we have for the 16th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the 16th? Judgment. I understand that everyone has their unique path and challenges. So perhaps this is a day of judgment in realizing that we are all unique Maybe we maybe we need to let go of some of our judgment. And it's funny because in the last one, I know a lot of people don't understand this. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So the reading I just did was about surrendering. Somebody has surrendered. And they're because they have surrendered. They have called in something from heaven. Okay, as above, so below. Surrendering to the divine is bringing somebody a gift. So for those of you that are still holding on and you have not surrendered and released, it's time to shed and surrender so that you can receive. You have to let go. You have to. Maybe it's surrendering judgment. You never know. Let's get one of these. One angel romance card for this day. What do we got? You ready? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now you could consider this a holiday. It is a full moon eclipse, right? Enjoy the bliss of time together. Enjoy the time that you have with the people you love. Because you never know <laughs> when it could be Judgment Day. Enjoy each day. Don't waste a minute. Surrender. Let's get one of these. Unleash your creativity. Unleash your creativity. We're going to read that one. Oh, and you know what this is all about? What is this all about? I think you already know. Self-love. There are no words. Love yourself. When you love yourself... True love will come into your life. Don't expect another person to love you if you don't love yourself. If you don't love the circumstances you're in, you better find a way to surrender and change them. Let's get one of these. Oh, we were going to read that, huh? Let's do that. Unleash your creativity. 
Your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. Allow your imagination to roam without limits and act and assess new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you are feeling stuck, get up and move, try new things, meet new people, read books, paint. Concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others? Do you have a, an affinity for gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whip up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be inventive. The more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. Let's read this one too. Self-love. Take time out to get to know yourself and what works for you in this particular cycle of life. Some of your biggest obstacles to self-love are self-criticism and perfectionism, which leads to harsh judgment of the self, closing down and eventually illness. Have you been trying to compete with others? Get approval from people in your family or simply pushing yourself too hard? If so, you need to soften and start listening to your own body. Focus on keeping your heart open and practice acknowledging and recognizing the good in yourself and others. This card beckons you to breathe love in and out every moment of the day. Ask yourself, what changes do I need to make to my daily routine so that I can love, so that love can pulsate all through every breath, action, and relationship I engage in. Choose to open your heart through softness Deep breathing, relaxation, movement, finding beauty in nature, in your home, in your pain, in your love, in your sadness, in prayer. Keep your heart open, even though it makes you feel vulnerable and exposed. Alright, what can we get through this deck? Ooh, Five of Cups Reverse, that's great. This is beginning to realize there is another opportunity. There is, there's, there could be a new prospect here. There is an option, and it's realizing that there is. There's an option for love. It's like, I know there is. It's realizing it. It's no more, I'm not going to cry over this anymore. No more crying, no more tears. Seven of Swords Reversed. Well, there's something being revealed. The truth. Accepting the truth. Seeing the truth. No more lies. No more deceiving. I accept. Knight of Swords moving very, very quickly. Rushing forward. I have no fear. Taking swift action. Defending yourself. I got to do what's right for me, right? The star. This is this is heaven sent, okay? This is this is this is a wish. This is a dream come true. This is going after your dreams, going after your wishes. This is also a renewal. This is a wish being granted. Finding peace of mind. So there is a wish that is being granted because somebody begins to realize they begin to open up they decide this takes action moves in a new direction the decision has been made right here three of coins reversed oh my god so that is the end of difficulty again coming out of the darkness right no more waiting somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting no more waiting somebody has decided to refocus
There's no togetherness here. No teamwork. Queen of Cups reversed. It's a very intense energy too. And there has been tears. It's funny I said no more tears. There's been a lot of tears. A lot of emotions. A lot of uh, sadness. Grieving. Seven of <laughs> Seven of Wands underneath the Seven of Swords reversed now. This is protecting them myself. I got I'm standing my ground. I gotta do what's right for me. Pushing everybody else away. So yeah, we got somebody here that is, is standing their ground, putting their guarding guard up, setting up a barrier, deciding to fight. I'm gonna fight for what I believe in. I'm gonna fight for myself. I'm gonna take care of myself. Two of coins reversed. Oh, Queen of Wands reversed. <laughs> there's, those, there's those messages we saw in the last one. So we we de this is kind of similar to the last one. Um, we have we have messages coming in. We have things moving forward very very quickly. This is like somebody has been has been. Um, it's like they've seen the light. They've seen the light. They've they've woken up. Okay, this is like a tower moment, really. The Knight of Swords. It's like they get hit with a lightning ball, seriously, and they 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 see that their wish fulfillment is not where they've been. You know, I gotta I gotta defend myself. There could be a fight that that initiates it. There could be some sort of argument. You know, maybe somebody finds out that somebody's been cheating, somebody's been lying, somebody's been deceiving, and it causes an argument. Okay. There's been some deception. So there's there could be some secret, some lie, some sort of situation that, you know, gets revealed. I mean, this is the truth judgment. If you think about the judgment card, the truth being revealed. And this is the truth being revealed as well, the Seven of Swords. So there could be some sort of hidden um, secret that gets revealed. And I feel, or gets brought to the table, or whatever the case is. Could have been a, yeah, there probably, that is what it is. There's probably another person involved. There's probably another person, and now... I mean, this is no more working together. Not seeing eye to eye. Lack of respect. Things have been turned upside down. What goes around comes around. It feels as though somebody has received some sort of... Well, I don't know what this is, but it feels like it's karma. It feels like it's karma. It does. It feels like this is karma. Somebody has had a karmic... Well, with that Knight of Swords, it's almost like an uproar. It's like there's some sort of a karmic change, a karmic ending here. Of a third-party situation. And a third-party situation doesn't always have to be sexual... It can be family. It can be friends. It, you know, so there's there's so many people involved here. There is, there is. So I feel like there's been many people involved in a person's ability to make the right judgment call in regards to what their heart really wants, and it's been very emotional. It's been very intense. But somebody has, it's like they've woken up. It's like they've they've got that lightning bolt. They've seen the light. And now they realize that, you know, it's time for a change. It's time to get my life back on track. It's it's time to stop lying. It's time to stop pretending. I got to do what's right for me. And I don't care what anybody else says. And this other person that has been involved, probably the same bitch that we talked about in the last reading, is being released. It doesn't have to be a female. It could be a male. But whoever this person is, it's like this person is is, you know... It's like, I really feel like there's an end of a third party situation where there was a lack of respect, there was a lack of teamwork, there's a lack of togetherness. Somebody is deciding to move on. The, the, the decision is a pretty hasty decision. 
I think it's a it's a very quick decision. I feel like there's some sort of disagreement or argument that 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 sparks this decision. I feel like we have somebody here that just decides I'm going to hope for the best. I want peace in my life. I have to let go of this negative energy. You know, I think there's a negative energy here. I I do. And I feel like there's a person that has, and it's kind of similar to the last reading, a person that has been miserable, miserable individual that has been holding somebody back from, from wish fulfillment. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to go in another direction and they may be starting communication or there's going to, they're, they're, they're making communication or they're sending messages someplace else this is messages so there is going to be messages going back and forth um we have a few people here we do have a few people here so i do think i mean we we think about it there's there's two women and there's there's one man it could go either way so there's there's a third party situation here and i and whether it's family members or lovers or whatever the case is or who know, or family members. This could be a bunch of family and friends that are involved in somebody's decision making. Whatever. I just feel as though we got somebody here that is beginning to realize that there is an opportunity for love that they have missed. You know, they've missed out on love because of everybody else. But now they're seeing the truth. They're waking up and they are taking action and they're rushing and they're in a hurry to get their life back on track because things have been turned upside down for too long. They've made some poor decisions. They may have acted impulsively and now it's like, no, I want to move forward. I want to, I got to go after what I'm passionate about. So I got, think we have somebody here that is wanting a renewal, like a, a renewal within themselves. Um, it's like they're, they're hoping They're hoping to move forward. They're hoping to leave the past behind. We have somebody here that is very indecisive. They've been restricted. They've been sad. Um, they've been in a passionless situation. And I think that they're, they're really hoping to step or step into a new place. But we have this, this <laughs> indecisiveness big time. There's in, there's indecisiveness. There's fear, but this is the, this is, uh, making a sudden decision as well, making a sudden decision to go. So I think we have somebody here that is making a sudden decision to move in a new direction. And they will probably be communicating feverishly. And look at the bottom. Judgment. The truth is about to be revealed. And this is karma. So a karmic debt is about to be paid. This is a card of absolution acceptance and release so we have a renewal here somebody is about to go in a new direction that they have been delaying the delay is over that's it I forgot to mention um, this judgment card as soon as I pushed stop and I started to pick up the cards I got the uh, <coughs> epiphany <laughs> which is an epiphany this is an epiphany I got the epiphany, I got the, uh, well, it's epiphany, that there could be a reconciliation here. There could be a reconciliation, because that, that is another meaning of this card. So for some of you, there could be a reconciliation. Now, this is also a past life connection, as well as that star card we just saw. So there could be a past life connection. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that you've known before, or somebody that you were with before. There could be messages going back and forth with this person because of that Eight of Wands. We saw it in both readings. Um, there is a chance for a reconciliation with, I mean, this is a reconciliation perhaps with a soulmate, okay? Somebody that you have known before, somebody that you are very familiar with, okay? Six of Cups. I have, when I picked it up, I saw, I, I saw it. So I thought, oh, geez, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, uh, reveal this. I can't just not reveal it. So Six of Cups is somebody from your past. Okay, it is. And I haven't looked any further than this, so we're going to go a little bit further just for the heck of it. Anyhow, um, so yeah, this is some, there could be a reconciliation with somebody you have known before. It's the soulmate connection, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You could have somebody that is 
leaving you to reconnect with somebody from their past. Okay? This is a lot of memories. There's a lot of memories here. This is a release. And when somebody releases, you think about judgment. I mean, you think about judgment day. Somebody usually has, you know, passed away on judgment day. Something has died. Right? There's a lot of memories. There is a lot of memories. So there's a lot of memories here resurfacing on this day. Okay? I can't wait to see what's underneath. Oh! Oh! Ooh. The Empress! Well. <laughs> I'm speechless. I mean, she's beautiful. She's kind. She's loving. She gives birth to a new life. She delivers. She is the birth of a new life. So we have somebody here that is about to start a new life. Basically dying to live again. The end. <laughs> 